one more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserved to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. My old friend, it's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah that hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. Dowd, you're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, Here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Go on. Get off the property or we'll lock you up too. You have to give me back my time card. I can't get back in. You had no right to take it. on the river watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, I'd suggest he's up to no good. Work at industry, green vital to state interest, has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent.
Rothwild's got a stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. Signed right away, Mr. <laughs> How much does he know by now? You? Well, Dowd? What do you want with me? I'm not here for you. I'm here to learn about a ship called the Delilah. Did the Lord Regent send you? That old fool, Hiram Burroughs. I know all about the Delilah. All of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless workers striking, which I did very nicely. And then destroy the slaughterhouse itself. That's where I got caught. And that's where I need your help. How? The whale oil in those tanks out there is enough to destroy this entire place. The important industrial bits, especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and... Boom. What about the people inside? Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they'd ever see here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and con me. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse, and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. Looks like it will put down that whale in an instant. I almost think you should. I know they're just beasts, but still.
Now, about the Delilah. You're sailing the Murky Walter's assassin. Now, they say that ship was sold to Rothwild cheap by one of his business partners, a barrister, Arnold Tinch. They'd planned to sell a portion of the whale oil on the black market, instead of giving it to the Lord Regent. Treason. Would that be why you're here? My reasons are my own. The black market doesn't concern me. Interesting. Because that's only half the story. Arnold Timps sold that ship to Rothwild because he was afraid of its name. Timps fell in love with a painter named Goliath. It was the scandal of the sea. That shrunken old ledger acting like a giddy schoolboy over in the A former serving girl from the Gunnell Tower. Let me guess. It didn't end well. It never does. But there's a mystery to this one. Something happened that frightened him very much. He dropped her overnight and sold the ship for a quarter of what it's worth. And Barrister Timps is not a man who scares either. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask him yourself. But I very much doubt he'll tell you. I guess we're done here. I'll meet you outside. Is anything bothering you, Dad? I've seen you kill a man without ruffling his hair. You took out the whole neighborhood. Barrister Timsch lives up in the legal district. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsch family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Let's go.